welcome to Med Select training. This is your automated dispensing cabinet. We're going to start off with uh, reviewing the different components of hardware. So to begin, the monitor here is all touch screen and this is referred to as your display terminal. This is where you're going to log in, see your patient information and dispense your medication. Now I'm going to show you the different types of drawers within the cabinet. This entire unit here is referred to as a drawer module. Within the drawer module, there's different types of drawers. The first type of drawer is a matrix drawer. It's going to open and you will have three to six different types of medications in the drawer. The cabinet will tell you the specific letter associated with the medication that you are looking for. In this case, spot C refers to spot C right here. The medication will always be in the spot in front of the letter. When you're done dispensing, simply close the door. The second type of drawer is a single item access drawer. This is primarily used for narcotics and controlled substances. So what will happen is the drawer will open and there will be a sheet of metal over the types of medications you are not permitted to access. Only the medication that you are trying to dispense will be available for you. Narcotics and controlled substances will be prompted to count the quantity that's remaining in the drawer after you dispense the medication. So you will simply dispense your medication and count the quantity remaining. There will be a prompt on the screen to enter that quantity. If you did not enter the correct quantity, a message will ask you, are you sure? That's your opportunity to recount the quantity in the drawer. If you continue to enter the wrong quantity, you will create a discrepancy. The next piece of hardware that I'm going to refer to is the unit dose module. Only 2 East and the emergency department have a unit dose module. This is also for dispensing narcotics and controlled substances. It's essentially a large vending machine made of coils that will contain both oral dosage forms, ampules, and vials. There's different size coils depending on the size of the medication. So the medication gets loaded in here by pharmacy. Nursing will not have access to anything in here, in here but it's interesting to at least show you what it looks like in there. What will happen is when you dispense a medication that's loaded in there, the coil will turn just like in a vending machine does to drop down your bag of chips and the medication will drop down into this pocket here. The final piece of hardware on these stations is a supply cabinet module. So what will happen is if you're dispensing a medication that is stored in the supply cabinet, the entire door will open. Obviously a lot less security for these items, primarily OTC products, um, bulk bottles, and larger IV medications such as Flagyl, Cipro, and Avalox will be stored in these drawers here. Again, just as with matrix drawers, a prompt will appear on the screen to tell you the location of the medication that you are trying to dispense. All of the medications in the top row will be labeled as the 100 series, and then subsequently 200 series in in the second row, 300s, 400s, 500s, and 600s. When you are done dispensing your medication, you simply close the door. And that completes your hardware training.